Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture on fracture of clavicle. If you see clavicle, in the medial end it is attached to the sternum and in the lateral end it is attached to the uh, humerus. So clavicle, the most common part or the, the most common point where the fracture of clavicle can happen is the junction of outer one third and that is lateral one third and medial two third. So at this point there is a chance there is an increased risk of fracture. Okay, this is the most vulnerable point where the clavicle fracture can occur. So, why does a clavicle fracture occur? Number one, whenever there is a history of trauma, there is some history of trauma, this trauma can cause the fracture of clavicle. Now, the, there are two muscles which are which you can see here, which are attached to the clavicle of frac uh, clavicle, and those are really important in the fracture of clavicle. So, one is the lateral one third part is attached to the pectoralis major, and the medial two third part here it is attached above to the sternocleidomastoid. Okay, so now in the clavicle of fracture, there is displacement because if you see this is the clavicle, the clavicle is held in position by the upward pull of sternocleidomastoid, which is counteracted by the downward pull of pectoralis major. So these are two, con con you know, counteracting forces, thus keeping the uh, clavicle stable. But here, because of the fracture at this point, the, there is no counteracting forces that will cause the medial fragment, which is attached to the sternocleidomastoid, to displace upwards and the lateral uh, fragment, which is attached to the pectoralis major muscle, to displace downwards. So it is like this. The medial portion is displaced upwards and laterally whereas the uh, lateral portion that is outer fragment it is displaced medially and downwards if you see this lateral fragment it is due to the push pull of pectoralis major muscle whereas the medial fragment or innermost fragment it is due to the pull of sternocleidomastoid muscle right so uh, what what is the history history uh, the patient will come to you with a history of trauma and then the patient complains of pain in this region. So, if this is the patient, he complains of pain in the region of the fracture and also swelling can be seen and sometimes crepitus can be observed. Then. Uh, if you diagnose it, for diagnosis, you'll have to ask him to get an x-ray done. And in the x-ray, you can see the two fragments of the uh, clavicle. They are There is a fracture line which is separating the two fragments of clavicle. Now, how are you going to treat it? Treatment, uh, the fracture of clavicle unites readily. There is no need to oh, have a workup. It generally unites. If it could not unite... It generally unites. But if there is displacement, then uni uni uniting is difficult. Union is difficult. If there is displacement, union is difficult. So here, uh, there are two types. Whenever there is minimal displacement, only if the displacement is very minimal, then you can do a thing called has triangular sling. So this is triangular sling. If there is minimal displacement, you do triangular sling. So this part, it goes like this. See, you'll attach a sling which goes below your arm, wrapping your arm above, around, wrapping around your arm and then you'll wrap like this. So if you see, it will be something like this. So this is triangular sling. Or if there is... Uh, 
रिब ए लिटल डिस्प्लेसमेंट विच मे बी मिनिमल और इफ देर इज मेजर डिस्प्लेसमेंट यू कैन डू वन मोर थिंग विच इज कॉल्ड हैज फिगर ऑफ एट बैंडेज इफ यू सी इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एट सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज फिगर ऑफ एट बैंडेज विच लुक्स लाइक दिस फ्रॉम द बैक एंड लाइक दिस इन द फ्रंट ओके फिगर ऑफ एट बैंडेज सो दीज आर द टू मेजर things which are available for immobilization now if there is any neuromuscular deficit neurovascular deficit in such cases you'll have to do open reduction and internal fixation okay so what are the complications the major complications are here in the near the clavicle the st- uh, brachial plexus and also the subclavian artery runs so the subclavian artery may get injured or brachial plexus may get injured okay and then there can be sti- stiffness of the shoulder and then mal union and non union can occur so these are the complications of clavicle fracture thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you thank you all for watching my lecture